Welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another video. And as y'all can tell by the title and of course the thumbnail, we have some new product from Fenty. I'm gonna be using other products too that's new, but um, yeah, the main um, focus in this video is gonna be on this product right here. This is the new Fenty Ease Drop Blurring Effect, y'all. Let me see what the name of this thing is. It's called the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint, y'all. So I know y'all been seeing it all over YouTube and Instagram and everything. So of course I had to jump on it, y'all. I wanted to see what the hype was all about. But of course, since it is a skin tint, my very, very, very first one, I'm very interested because I do live in a hot state, y'all. And I'm telling you, a lot of times you just don't want to have a whole full face of makeup and you sweating and it's just dripping wet and hot outside. So I felt like this would probably be a good buy for me, especially with the summertime coming up very soon. So I did end up getting color number 19, y'all. So I don't know if I have the right shade or not, but um, yeah, we'll see how it works out. But but if you are interested in what this shade is looking like on me, definitely continue on watching. We're gonna have a conversation and I'll let y'all know if I am feeling this or not. Okay, so let's see what this skin tint is supposed to be giving us, y'all. So um, it's supposed to be a soft blurred finish. Flexible skin tint, easy to apply. It says a blurring skin tint that delivers smooth, instantly blurred skin in just a few drops in 25 shades. Rihanna wanted to create a light coverage, easy to apply, flex flexible skin tint that instantly evens out your complexion and gives a flattering blurred effect. Perfect for a no makeup makeup look for when you want to look effortless, put together in 25 adaptable shades, buildable to light to medium light wear coverage. You can apply this with your fingers or your brush and I'm not applying it with my um, fingers because I am very, very messy. But so you already did my brows, as you can tell, I didn't do my eyeshadow. I think I'm just do a quick look. I have been using this right here. This is the new um, Julius Place. I have this in shade two. This is the eye prep prime eye primer. I really, really like it, y'all. Not a bad product at all. If you are interested, I will leave the link in the description box below for you to go ahead and check out that video. And of course, in the cards. So definitely check it out. So I think I'm gonna just go off camera and do my eyeshadow. Then I'll be right back to go ahead and show you how I'm gonna apply this skin tint on my face. Okay, y'all, so I did a little something something with the eyes. Not too much, y'all. So um, if you're interested in this look, I will leave the link to that video in the description box below because I did record it. But anyway, let's get into the main course of this video. So, well, not the main, because I am going to be priming my face first with this. This is the Touch and Soul No Pore Primer. That is a tongue twister for me, y'all. I'm doing the wing as y'all can tell right here I kind of went out and I'm like I don't know if I'm doing the wing but we'll see at the end of the video so y'all like I told y'all I did get this one in the shade 19 they only have 25 shades because they're saying that there are several shades that can fit several different skin tones so we will see if 19 is okay on me so let's let's hope I am not gonna be using my fingers for this whole face, y'all. So I just wanted to give y'all a little bit of a clue, I guess, to see if it's a match with my fingers. And I'm feeling like it is, y'all. I'm feeling like it is. So I'm very happy about that because, you know, I can't just go around spending my money <laughs> and getting several different shades. I would probably have to return it, but I think this is definitely a match. Okay, y'all, so this is what it's looking like on my face. I must say I did a great job picking the shade because it matches perfectly. So I'm definitely happy about that. So I'm gonna try to stick to as many um, Fenty products as possible. Yeah, I have never tried this right here, but I do have it in the color 370. This is the concealer from Fenty. So I guess this is gonna be a first for me to see if I like the concealer. Um, I have been doing, I have been loving 
my Juvia's Place Concealer in shade 38. So hopefully this is definitely one that I really love too. Okay, y'all, so I just want to share with y'all that I do have this, these two products right here. This is the Soft Matte um, Powder Foundations. My first one was the 410 and it's a little bit too dark, so I went back and got the 400, which is a perfect match for me. But um, I do have a video on it. I will leave the, the link in the description box below for you to check it out. But the only reason why I'm telling y'all this is that I know they came out with some bronzers, but y'all, like I told y'all, I like my coins. I love my coins, saving them in my pocket when I can. So I decided to go ahead and just use this color right here as a bronzer. So um, yeah, I'm, I try to think all kinds of ways to save my money. This is how I fix my mistake, y'all, if I go in a little bit too heavy with my bronzer. Just go back in with that sponge that you use for your concealer and, you know, make it look a little bit more seamless and flawless. And this is another new product to me, y'all. I think I tried it one time and I wasn't that impressed with it. Um, this one right here is a blush from Fenty, as y'all can tell. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it's called, what is this called? Fugo Flush. So not sure if I'm loving this yet. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna go off camera and put some clothes on, some hair on, and I'll be right back so we can finish talking about this skin tint blur effect, whatever you wanna call this product name, y'all. I, I don't know, I'll be right back. So anyway, let's talk about this skin tint, y'all. So, um, obviously I haven't had it on, but it's not obvious to y'all, but I haven't had it on for a very long time, maybe about an hour and a half, and what I can see is really, really pretty so far. Maybe I'll do a wear test for y'all in the future, but today I can't do it. But yeah, so as of now in this hour and a half, um, this is looking really, really, really good, y'all. Like, to me, I feel like this is damn near full coverage to me. And, and y'all did see that I barely used any drops on my face. I haven't gotten any creases or anything, no cracks or nothing, but this is not supposed to be full coverage. I mean, I don't have too many problems with my skin. Um, as for like a lot of blemishes, blemishes or anything like that, I moisturize every day so I don't have any dry patches, even though I do have dry skin, y'all, very dry skin. So I think it looks really, really good. And I think I did a great job picking the shades, but they did make it easier because say a variety of different skin tones could use just one shade. So I'm pretty sure people who are slightly darker or lighter than me can wear this shade 19. So my overall thoughts, y'all, this is really, really pretty and I like it. I really do like it. Um, as for the way it feels, to me, I can obviously feel that there is makeup on my face. I don't think it feels that light. So I'm not gonna give them that much credit. To me, it feels like I have foundation on my skin. So it could be because I have obviously other products on my skin too. So, but um, it is really nice and I do like how flawless my makeup looks so i guess i'm gonna have to credit the concealer and the powder from fenty also because i do like that i told y'all that was my first time trying the concealer and i do like the concealer definitely will keep y'all posted so um let me know if you're gonna get this skin tint if you already got it and how you feel about it i want to have a conversation drop the comment in the comment section below so we can continue talking and i'm going to go ahead and end this video please like subscribe and of course comment and let me know what you think and i will see y'all in my next video